political analyst Figile Vilagazi believes that the former president Jacob Zuma could expose some of the ANC's darkest secrets if he was to be expelled from the party. In an interview with the Citizen, Vilagazi said Zuma is privy to many of the party's secrets. This is because Zuma, who was in the MK structures, had been involved in the intelligence gathering of the ANC during the apartheid years. He went on to say, we know that the former president was sitting at the center of the intelligence of the ANC of the African National Congress and for that reason he has exposure to delicate information. He may have access to files and records of individual members of the African National Congress that are not meant to be public. I think he has made threats that if they act against him, he is also likely to expose them. There have been calls from some alliance partners for the ANC to take action against its former leader. But Vilakazi said the party is between a rock and a hard place and said he is holding the organization to ransom. This is a thorny issue and it could lead to the total collapse of the organization. The information he has could be total demise of the ANC. She said that the ANC had enough reasons to suspend Zuma and said he has put the ANC into disrepute in terms of the constitution. He is one of the members who should have been subjected to a disciplinary procedure and expelled. This kind of offense he has committed is a dismissible one. According to Vilagazi, the Umkondo Wasizwe party was a suitable political home to a faction of the ANC that identified itself as the radical economic transformation faction of the ANC. At the weekend, a leaked letter indicated that Zuma's former wife, Mkosana Tlamini Zuma, will not be available to serve in parliament after this year's national and provincial elections. This means should the ANC retain power after the elections, she will cease to be a member of the cabinet in the new administration, as ministers are appointed for members of parliament. Tlamini Zuma is one of the longest-serving ANC members of parliament. She has has been a member of the National Assembly since the dawn of the democracy in 1994, having served under all five presidents since Nelson Mandela. On the other hand, President Sir Ramaphosa was boasting about ANC's effort to prevent poverty and said about 28 million people rely on social grants. He was speaking at the Mombela Stadium where they were celebrating 112 years of the ANC. The president has hailed the governing party's efforts to tackle poverty head on. He was referring to the monthly 350 rand social relief of distress grant government introduced in 2020, which about 10 million people receive and other social grants such as old age, pension and child support grants from which 18 million people benefit. He said the party's approach to tackling poverty has been too pronged. First, through the social wage, which involves a range of social and economic interventions, including expanding access to quality basic services, and second, through direct transfers to households in the form of social grants. This year, South Africans will head to the polls to vote for national and provincial governments. As part of campaigning a week ago, Ramaphosa threatened the National Student Financial Aid Scheme and social grants were likely to disappear should the ruling party lose power. He was lambasted for using scare tactics as part of campaigning. We are now moving on to Figi Lambalu's secrets. As a result of Mbalula's breathtaking off-the-cuff comments, attention was stolen from the ANC anniversary celebration. The event was held at the Mbombela Stadium, Bumalanga. Last week, Mbalula unprovoked threw the ANC under the bus as he admitted that the party had lied in parliament in protection of its former president Jacob Zuma. He was referring to the ANC voting for a parliamentary inquiry report on the Gandla saga. The report absolved Zuma of non-security upgrades at his Gandla homestead at the expense of taxpayer money. His comments drew harsh criticism from within and outside the ANC. The governing party's top brass viewed his comments as bad PR. The ANC national chairperson Kwede Mandashe publicly slated Mbalula for being excited 
by media cameras and microphones. Last week on Thursday, the ANC National Executive Committee meeting was built to impose a gag order on Balula. However, he emerged from the meeting without a single bruise. According to 11 NEC members, the highest decision-making body between ANC conferences felt it was unnecessary to discuss Mbalula when it had bigger things to contend with, including its January 8th statement. But beyond that, Mandasha's public rebook of Mbalula sa saved him in a way. This was because the NEC would have been forced to also deal with the former for attacking his colleague in public. An NEC insider told the Sunday World that correcting a wrong with the wrong is what Mantashe caused. So for us to go for Mbalula would have forced us to do the same with the national chair. So chief, the reality is that the NEC can, cannot stop discussing people like Mbalula when we are so much under siege from opposition parties, especially the MK parties. Another NEC member said, imagine discussing the SG ahead of the January 8th statement rally because he spoke the truth about party secrets. Yes, the man messed up, but it was the first time he did so with so much an impact on our already damaged reputation. We felt that being hard on him was unnecessary and unfair because he is the first time offender. But also this NEC has been one of the unity and forgiveness since our election. So breaking the peace and harmony because you want to punish bugs will be bad news, especially in an election year. Another source said, Lula unfortunately does not help his case for digging in his heels when he is expected to be quiet and show remorse. This would have done by refraining from further commenting on the controversy caused by him. Balula went on to reveal another party secret on Thursday morning just, just before the midnight NEC meeting. As we thought that he had gotten the message from our national chair, the man went on a television news interview. Here he dropped another embarrassing bomb about the ANC. This is when he told the public that Zuma, upon his forced resignation as head of state in 2018, was on the verge of being arrested. We are in an election year, but our chief spokesperson is saying things that are, that are decampaigning us. Leaders all concurred that Mbalula's behavior violated the communication protocol that party expects from its secretary general. According to them, that document was shared with Mbalula a long ago. Among other things, it instructs him to speak publicly with prepared speeches instead of freestyling. The insider went on to say clearly the SG does not take the protocol seriously, but to his defense, the office he occupies gives him powers to say whatever he wants. And the unfortunate thing is that his statements automatically become the statements of the whole NEC, hence we cannot gag him. What's your take on this one people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.